everybody. Um, so to make this candle holder, it's a really simple and quick candle holder to make. I'm using eight ply yarn with um, a four millimeter hook and I'm using red today. And I'm gonna start off by making a magic circle. Gonna start off by making a magic circle. And into that magic circle, I'm going to put 12 double crochet. And I am using American terminology. So that's one, two, three, 11, and 12 double crochet all into the magic circle. And then I'm just gonna pull that thread and slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet of the round. And that completes round one. For round two, you're gonna start it off with a single um, chain, one chain. And into each stitch, you're going to put two half double crochet. So instead of double crochet, two half double crochet in each stitch. So you've 12 double crochet in the first round, and you're going to have 24 half double crochet in the second round. So I've come to the last stitch. I'm just gonna put my last half double crochet for 24 half double crochets, and I'm gonna slip stitch to the first stitch in the round, first half double crochet. So for round three, chain one, and now we're gonna work into the very back loops of the half double crochet of the previous round. So you have your front loop here, you have your back loop here, and at the very back of that, you have another loop. And into this, I am going to put one half double crochet in the very back loop of each stitch of the previous round. So you should have 24 stitches. So you will see now a rim starting to uh, form. So you now have a rim, uh, 24 stitches and put one half double crochet into the very back loop uh, the whole way around. Now I've, now I've come to the end of that round and I am going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet of the round and your work will start to look like that there. So now what you need to do is chain one and you're gonna slip stitch up along this stitch until you get to the rim Okay, so you can just slip stitch as neatly as possible up along here, like that. And turn your work so that the rim is at the top facing out the ways. And now what you're gonna do is bend your work over and you should have a rim of stitches here. You're going to do um, double crochets in these, but start off by chaining three and this counts as your first double crochet. And into the first stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. And you will have 24 all together. So that's three, four. So I've come to the last stitch. So you should have this up like this. I'm just gonna do it into the last stitch, whoops. And just slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet of the round. And you should have like a little pot that looks like that. And your tea light should fit nice and neatly into that. Now we're gonna do the little stars. So facing this way, I am going to chain one to start and I'm gonna do one single crochet in the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. Chain one and turn your work Skip the first stitch and do one single crochet into the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. Chain one and turn your work. Do one stitch, one single crochet into the first two stitches and slip stitch into the third stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Skip the first stitch where you slip stitched and do two single crochets in the two stitches, chain one, and now you're gonna work down the side of this. So you should do into the top line, into the second line, somewhere along the third line, 
as neatly as you can into the fourth line and into the fifth and you're going to continue on single crocheting in the next four stitches so that's one two three and four chain one and turn your work and you're going to skip the first stitch and do one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three chain one and turn your work into the first stitch one single crochet into the second stitch one single crochet and slip stitch into the third stitch chain one and turn your work skip the slip stitch and do one single crochet in the two stitches remaining one and two chain one and you're going to work down the side so into the first row one single crochet second third fourth and into the bottom five and you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches so that was one two three and four chain one and turn your work you're going to skip the first stitch and do one single crochet in the three stitches one two and three chain one and turn your work one single crochet in the first stitch and the second stitch and slip stitch into the third stitch chain one skip the slip stitch and do one single crochet in the two stitches remaining chain one and into the top one single crochet you're going to work down the side of this um, triangle as neatly as you can it is hard to see where to go but you just put them neatly along down the side that's three four and five and you're going to move on now to the next four stitches so one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and you're going to continue this pattern you've done three now the whole way around and you should have six in all uh, six stars and I will meet you back when we come back to the beginning of the round so I completed the six triangles to make a star six-sided star and at the very end I just slip stitched to the first stitch in the round and pulled the wool through and weaved the wool in and out and your little candle holder should look like this a little Christmas star and you can just pop your tea light into the middle and that's it so really simple and quick um, so please subscribe if you like my video and thanks for watching